Hey everybody, it's Luke here from the Moose Shed Barbecue. Hope you're having an awesome day. I know I am. We have something special hitting the uh, hitting the grill today, and we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be searing or reverse searing a 50 ounce tomahawk on the Yoda. So this is the first time I've used the Yoda for any kind of hot and fast uh, grilling. So we're actually going to be we're actually going to be reverse searing this. Look at the size of that beast. So this is 50 ounce, just shy of two kilos. Tomahawk steak. We've rubbed it with Evolution's butter infused olive oil. Now, we don't use mustard or anything like that for binders. We only use Evolution oils. And then we've hit it with our coal miner's salt. So if you're into your steaks, if you're into kind of anything like that chicken pork doing grilling hot and fast that coal miner's salt needs to be in your cupboard because it works fantastic especially on steaks season the night before if you've got a big one like what i've got today uh, let that really soak into the meat perfect you'll you'll never go back once you try it trust me on that one so what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a reverse sear method and we're basically going to be roasting uh, this 50 ounce tomahawk on the Yoda and then once it gets up to temperature or just just under uh, medium rare we're gonna take it off we're gonna let it rest and then we're gonna crank that grill and we're gonna remove the uh, the door on our two-piece diffuser I have done a video about that one as well uh, in my previous videos we, we talked about the two-piece versus the the one piece the solid so check that one out if you've not seen it so this one, we're going to remove that door and we're going to see how well the Yoda YS640S can actually sear uh, a steak. So stay tuned everybody, this one's going to be a good one. So here she is going on. Now I actually removed this shelf uh, while the Yoda was preheating and I've done that because I want to try and reduce the amount of sear marks that's going to be on this steak until the very end and we're just using the uh, the standard grill grates that came with the Yoda we don't have the um, the searing grates that you can get so we'll see how well it does um, but there she is she's on she's gonna cook away now until she gets just near temperature So let's check on her, see how it's doing. I did flip it over about 10 minutes ago, just to try and keep it even. It's looking nice. Okay, so we're gonna check on her again. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is looking nice. So that's at about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull that off then we're going to wrap it loosely in foil and we're going to leave it to rest for about 30 minutes and then we're going to test out this sear uh, option that's on the uh, two-piece diffuser okay so this has been left to rest for about 25 30 minutes look at the color on that it looks absolutely delicious so we've got this cranked right up and we've already removed the grate so as you can see there's the firebox underneath so we're going to be sticking our steak directly over those flames so looks pretty promising to me
So looking at this, there is no doubt in my mind that the Yoda YS640S is perfectly capable of searing a steak. Those flames were unreal. Just look at that crust. And it's time to cut her open. She's all booked up, 50 ounces of tomahawk steak, a little over uh, on temperature than what I would normally like, but it's still uh, super tender and delicious, loads of juice as you can see. So there you have it folks, the Yoda YS640S can certainly sear a piece of meat, no questions asked.